today's video is going to be a twist on the French classic. Everyone's heard of Cocker Van, so I'm using Pheasant for mine, so it's just Pheasant of Van. So what I've got on my board is a pheasant I've broken down. I've just got the legs that I've kept whole and the breasts I've left the wings on. I've got some sage, some crushed garlic, salt and pepper and a bottle of red wine. So all you do is get yourself a tub or a container, put the pheasant in it, put on the salt and pepper, the herbs and the garlic and then just pour over the red wine. Just like that. Then all you're going to do is just let this marinate in this for minimum six to eight hours but ideally you want to let it sit overnight. Once your pheasant has marinated for about six to eight hours it's time to get the other ingredients ready. So I've got one small onion that I've sliced up so I couldn't get hold of any silver skin onions. I've got eight buttered mushrooms that I've quartered, eight rashes of smoky bacon that I've just sliced up and two bay leaves. But if you look at how the pheasants took on that wine, it does look and smell absolutely beautiful. So it's done a real good job of marinating. So what I'm going to do now is get a pan on, smoking hot and then we're going to sear off the pheasant. So once your pan's smoking hot, you want to take out your pheasant breast piece by piece and just sear it off in the hot pan on each side just to gain some colour. Then in the same pan you want to add all your other ingredients. You just want to cook these off for a minute or two so that they can gain a bit of colour. Right, now it's time to add the pheasant back to the pan. Just lay it all on top. And any of the resting juices that are gathered in the bowl. And then you want to add the, all of the wine and the other ingredients that were sat in there because that's still got flavour in. Once your pot has just come to a boil that's going to start burning off the alcohol I just add about half a pint of my game stock when this was marinated, I took the pheasant carcass I had and I made it some stock. So what you do now is put it in a preheated oven at 140 for about two hours and a quarter. So there it is all plated up, it's the finished article. And I've got mine served with some green beans and some uh, lovely buttery mash. And even the legs are falling off the bone. So there we have it guys, French classic with a twist.